Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. This is my Sage Business Cloud Accounting tutorial. We have gone through a number of aspects of the software, basically teaching you the basics of Sage Business Cloud Accounting. I've gone through setting up the software, adding and editing suppliers and customers, raising sales invoices, customizing sales invoices, credit notes, purchase invoices, purchase credit notes, and some other features of the software. It's now time to look at the bank section of Sage Business Cloud Accounting. This section of the tutorial is going to be slightly different because in all previous videos, all these features are laid out the same in the sense that we have a list and we click on the blue button to add new items or we just click on an item here to edit it. All the pages so far have been like that, whether it's been a product or service, a customer, a purchase invoice, it's all been the same. But you'll see as I click on banking, things are laid out slightly differently. It's still not complicated, but I'll just slow things down a bit. So this is the banking screen. This is where all bank accounts on Sage are kept. You'll likely see a business current account here, perhaps a petty cash or cash account. There may be a company credit card, maybe a, a business savings account. There may be even more. There might be multiple current accounts, multiple cash accounts, multiple credit card accounts, but they're all on here. To edit one of these accounts, all we do is simply click on it. So I'll click on bank account. You can see we can change the account name. So let's actually change this account to uh, business current account. And in brackets, I can even put the name of the bank. So let's put um, Barclays in here. We have the account type. We have the sort code of the bank accounts. We can add that here. Obviously, these figures are all false. The IBAN and the BIC. Once that's done, we can click Save, and that information will be saved. You can see that bank account has now changed to business current account. We can do that with cash. If I click on this, we could change this to petty cash and click save. Okay. Now if we want to add a new bank account to Sage Business Cloud Accounting, there is this new button at the top right. If you go right down to the bottom, there is bank account. If we click on that. We can then select the sort of bank account we need, a current account, a savings account, a credit card, a loan, cash account, Let's do a savings account, account names. Let's do business savings account. And this could be with Santander, the sort code, the account number, and then we can click save. If you want to connect your bank accounts um, like have a bank feed from your bank account to Sage, click save and connect. You can also do that on the screen here by clicking on connect bank. Okay, so I've added the business savings account. Let's drag that across here if it lets me. There we go. So we now have the business current account with Barclays and the business savings account with Santander. Once again, if I want to edit this, all I do is click on it. I can edit the information here and then just click save. Okay. In the next video, we'll go through receiving payments from customers. The video after that, I'll go through paying suppliers. And then we've pretty much, uh, pretty much have uh, covered all the basics of Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Obviously, there's more to the software. But you should know enough to actually use the software day to day. 
So a couple of videos left. I'll speak to you in the next video.